all right what's going on boys today i have a banger for you guys today and it's going to be on the haymaker shotgun now this thing is absolutely nasty an absolute two top machine uh you guys are going to see in this gameplay today i basically just got out of so many stupid situations uh for free pretty much just because i'm using this shotgun um challenging pretty good players and just literally just two topping them caught off guard multiple times two top so yeah hope you guys enjoy the gameplay i will put the class setup at the very end of the video so yeah make sure you watch all the gameplay it's an absolute insane one and uh yeah class setup at the end as always take it easy fellas love you boy enemies are dropping into the area watch the skies Supply box is marked. Secure those locations. Only had his loading. The audio sounds weird reflexed. I already feed about a hundred player count. Uh it doesn't really bother me to be honest. Oh, this gun is actually so nice. What the hell? This is like my first time ever like using this gun like properly. And I like I I, I put a class together with it. I never actually like used it. You know what I mean? You've got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. <laughs> Primary objective complete. All targets eliminated. Could you imagine being that guy? I sure as hell can't. Just didn't, <laughs> the part sheet didn't work. Yeah, that was actually the most boring, like, that was like the most boring encounter I've ever played, considering how many people were actually involved right there. Copy that. There were so many people involved in that encounter, and it was so boring because of how everybody was playing the game. <laughs> everybody was just playing so slow. Which I get, alright, GG's, I get, I get it. It just made that super boring.
What are these vehicle these vehicle physics? All bounty targets destroyed. Hell of a job. My big game Bernie's on top of a building and the guy that pinged on my UAV was on top of a building. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay. The window's not there like multiplayer. UAV is being a fuel. RTV at this time. Holy shit. No. Gas is closing in. Get to the new safe zone. Gulag is closed until further notice. Are you in here? Okay, that's not a door. Imagine. The enemy is no longer tracking you. You lost him. All bounty targets are KIA. Well done. Interceptor, I'm dead. Gas is inbound, marking a new safe zone. I don't even feel bad about running the shotty anymore. Finish the job. You got gas moving in. Keep it in. Let's go, baby. A 25 piece for the homies, I guess. All right, boys. Hope you enjoyed that little 25 piece. Here is the setup that I'm running. First attachment we're going to take a look at is the Bruin Bastion angled foregrip. Look at the minimum. The minimum and the maximum spread that you get for the hip fire. This is this is such a good and underrated attachment for hip fire. Uh, we're gonna use the Brain Bastion. Then we're gonna use the Crown Breaker Choke and also fifty percent decrease, fifty percent decrease to our shotgun spread. That is absolutely insane. Then we're gonna use the Impaler Long Barrel once again. An another absurd attachment. Thirty four percent increase to our effective damage range and our minimum damage range. Absolutely absurd. And then the last two attachments, 20 round mag and the dragon's breath attachment. You could drop this to 12 for solos, um, but I, 
<laughs> I just love how obnoxious the 20 round mag is. Anyway, boys, take it easy. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed your class of it. And uh, just go easy on people when you're using this gun, all right? Because you, you guys know it's it's kind of tough. All right, take it easy, boys. Love you, boys.